Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to some of the world's biggest stars and some of my favourite people, and a man who's a former military man. He was discovered by X Factor after falling sick and on leave learnt how to sing. He then made the auditions and had everybody in tears. He's also got a tattoo with your name on his bum. How nice. Uh, Jay James was one of the big stars of X Factor this year, and I'm delighted to say he joins us on the phone now. How are you? I'm good, mate. How you doing? What it must be like to be you, for a start, the ladies think you're a nice bit of trouser and delicious. On tour, you've got a great singing voice, and you're about to pack eight or 10,000 people every night for the next few weeks on the X Factor Tour. It's not bad, is it? Oh, mate, I've got to say, I'm absolutely blessed at the moment. You know, it's, it's, it really is amazing. You know, we played Bournemouth last night to a crowd of around 4,000 people, uh, Dublin 11,000 people the night before. So we're just... We're, we're all absolutely buzzing, you know what I mean? So uh, I couldn't be happier. It's an extraordinary life. I mean, I've done 20 years in entertainment last year. I just turned 35, and it's an amazing feeling to stand in front of any audience, whether there's four, 40 or 400. But then when you go into the thousands, how do you keep your bottle and not just lose it? I, I mean, I, I, I approach it with, with a real excitement, if I'm honest with you. You know, in, in just like you said, you know, I, I perform to crowds of you know, four, five, ten people. So to me now, to, to, to be blessed with so many different people, it's just about giving, you know, just as much energy and love to what you do. So, um, I, yeah, I love it, mate. I, I, I tend not to really get that nervous. I just get excited. Mm. It's so, the best way to do it, because if not, it'd be totally intimidating, wouldn't it, if you actually thought about all yeah. of those opinions judging you? Yeah, totally. I mean, I, I do think you get a lot from the show, I think. The show itself, performing on on the show on a Saturday night, when you think it goes out in front of millions of people, and and essentially, you know, the, the next three minutes before you step out on that stage is going to really dictate where your career goes and what you do for the rest of your life. And mm. um, I think that's really set you up. But the live situation is completely different. I mean, this is music, you know, and you've got to connect with it initially in order to hopefully other people too. So I don't ever forget that. You know what I mean? When I when I go it's great to get such a reception I always think live TV especially and radio is, is such a strange beast because you're talking to far more people than you ever could in an arena or in a live event but somehow you get used to the studio and you just think of it as that is that what you had to do on those sort of last few shows of X Factor completely block out the fact that there are millions of people behind the camera and you're just playing to that room absolutely absolutely it's such I mean for me in style of music and, and what I do I, I initially just try and find the connection within the lyrics that I'm singing you know I try and choose songs um, that I'm really really going to connect with and that I can primarily connect to myself and, and I find you know I, I, someone once said to me you know you should never you should never really try and sell sell music your music should be goodbye and I always really took that on board and performing and everything that I do I think that's what music is about you've got to find that connection you've got to find that love to, to sing and, and let other people you know hopefully enjoy it themselves so um, that's what I do when I when I when I sing whether it be on TV radio or you know in front of the thousands that we're doing at the moment mm. and it's it seems to be working so <laughs> there seems to be no rhyme or reason who gets through and why they get through anymore from Stevie to you to completely different acts you can find yourself in the same uh, final together being judged between each other and those four will decide whether you go through or not it's a strange competition isn't it because you've got the loose cannons that are there for entertainment and then the legitimate artists who are seriously trying to make a career as an artist um, did you ever think you'd get through or did you think you'd be one of those that had just sort of passed by you were neither ridiculous uh, nor outrageous you were a good singer and often good singers just don't get through I think my initial um worries about it we're, we're, you know is the X Factor is based around you know a singing voice and a personality and everything else and you know uh, uh, you know I did music before I went on the show you know I write my own music I produce so that was one thing that I was worried that it would never come across because it's just about my singing and you know there's self you know confidence issues where you think you know is my singing voice enough you know to sing other people's songs because I never really did that, to be honest. You know, mm. I sang probably two, three covers before 
I went on the show, you know what I mean? I, I write my own music. So that was definitely a worry of mine. But, you know, when I went into the first audition, I had such an amazing reaction from, you know, Simon specifically and the other judges. That really instilled a lot of confidence that, you know, I, I could just go out, I could sing someone else's song with the, the thought of me connecting to it. And, and, it, and it came off. And it wasn't really until boot camp where I was actually introduced to Stevie and, and we got a bit of a bond where... He just had the time of his life on stage, and I thought to myself, you know, as a, as a performer and as a musician, what I try and do is, is obviously create a, a form of escapism for myself, but also the listener, mm. um, you know, to, to escape whatever they're thinking, to sit down, put the CD on, and just, you know, just relate and escape from stuff. Well, that's exactly what Stevie did for me. Yeah. I was just about to go and do the first audition, probably the biggest thing that I'd done in my life. And for the two minutes that I watched him before, he gave me that escapism. And my, my whole thing changed. My whole perception on the show changed because, you know, Stevie is actually a brilliant, brilliant entertainer. Um, and I loved that. I loved mm. that. And, you know, I think he was right, you know, to be in the competition. Well, I think X Factor proves we'd rather have a big personality who doesn't take themselves too seriously than an amazing singer that does. We just don't seem to like that, do we? The X Factor is a vehicle for that. It's mm. entertainment, it's a TV show, and that's what you bring, you know, in comparison to maybe someone like Sam Smith or Adele, mm. who we choose, to, you know, a more serious artist that we choose them to listen to, you know. So it's all about finding that, that balance. For me, you know, I've been blessed with an incredible platform now for me to obviously not take anything for granted and get back in the studio and, and, and get back to real music and, and hopefully can establish myself in that way. The only thing that does worry me about X Factor is it is an entertainment show that is manipulated by Psycho, by ITV, by Simon Cowell, and you're left at the end trying to live a life and forming a career, as we saw this week with um, Sam Bailey. It's very difficult, isn't it, to survive in this business. Does that worry you, or do you just live for every day? Um, I, I live for every day. You know, it's, it, it, I think the manipulation thing is, is, is a strong word coming from, obviously, you know, being in it and stuff. I mean, they're making a TV show, so naturally things need to be edited down and there needs to be a call of what needs to happen. But, you know, without it, where would you be? Mm. You know, uh, and I, I, you know, again, a question towards me going on to the show initially was, you know, it, there's very few people now making it outside the use of featuring on other people's tracks. Yeah. You know, they're looking to get their own line. I was signed by a major record label and, you know, I, I got um, I, I got on this morning and, you know, and that was like the biggest thing that I did, which was amazing in front of many you know, people. As, a, you know, an artist that entered the X Factor, went on the X Factor, my first audition went up to 10 million people. So you've got to ask where, you know, what's going on with the industry at the moment. And, yeah. you know, I certainly look to try and embrace that. And, um, you know, it's tough anyway. It's tough whatever you do, whatever... Mm you know, thing you're doing. So, you know, you've got to work hard. And I think a lot of people, you know, in, in, in history sort of come off the show and maybe take for granted that they think they're a celebrity and that will get them by. And But it's not. It's like anything. You've got to work your ass off yeah. to, to try and find your light, to try and find people that can connect to you and, and you know, get your music out there. And I always say there's one Beyonce and 10 million people trying to be her and that's the reality of the business, isn't it? It is. It is. So, you know, it's, it's a shame, you know, it's a shame to hear such things, you know, that, you know, about Sam, because she's an incredible vocalist, but there's no doubt in my mind that she'll, she'll, she'll continue to sell records independently or with other record labels or do whatever, you know, it's just because... It like, is baffling though, isn't it? Why you would get a number one album and then get dropped is confusing. And I think it's about what type of artist they want. And again, you're probably more in her bracket than you are in sort of the Stevie bracket, that you are a legitimate artist trying to do proper music created by yourself. And that might not be uh, under the banner of the commercial stuff that Cal's looking for. For you, is it just about performing now and doing it live? Because that, that you can earn a good living doing that with Profile, can't you? Like I, since I got off the show, you know there was there was days within I got off the show and I was I put myself back into the studio because you know it's important for me to get back into that credit really really quickly and 
you know, as you say, just get back to music, get back to creating music. And for me now, that's exactly what it's about. I want to create a record. You know, I believe now the industry is very much led by a singles market where they want to release one single and, you know, and get a quick hit or whatever else and then release an album. But for me, I want to, you know, very much like my first album, I want to create a body of work which I would be proud to listen to from top to bottom and I would mm-hmm. hope other people would too. I think, you know, the likes of people like Rebecca Ferguson have done that really well. You know, his mm-hmm. first record was a body of work. You know, I was blessed to support her and I was extremely surprised by, by the quality of that record. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and, and, I, and I see myself, you know, very much in that line now. I, I, I want to create a, an album that I'm happy with and, and hopefully that, that Real Music listeners and, 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 and fans of this show as well would buy into and, and you know, appreciate. So when can you be you again? I mean, you've been involved in this juggernaut of X Factor for nearly a year now, and you've got the big tour, the arena tour. It's coming all over the country. You can find out about those tour dates by going to uh, gigsandtours.com or just put in X Factor Tour on the internet and find out. I'll see you in uh, Nottingham on Sunday, by the way. Looking forward to that. When are you released and able to do your own gigs and all that stuff? Because there comes a point when you can be you again. Yeah, well, I mean, it's uh, again, like... I. I I try to be myself throughout the whole of the show, you know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, in respect to my own music and stuff, I, I've been in straight away, um, you know, writing and stuff. So, you know, there's there's initial contracts where, you know, they, they've got the option if, if they would like to sign and stuff. And so, you know, we're, we're in discussions with certain people and, and labels and different things to what I'm going to do. Mm. Um, but I'm looking to get on it really, really quickly, you know. Good. This tour... This tour is is obviously my priority at the moment and, and and loving it. But you know, it's you'd be daft not to, to to be looking at your own thing. You know what I mean? And, and get your own thing going on. And that's exactly what I'm doing. You know. And um, yeah, it's just it's it's great. To, it's nice to be back in when you're in the X Factor. You're in a bubble very much. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? We're around really creative people this year on the show. The contestants all are really creative. And, you know, we get on all so well, like a little family, you know. So to step back into that bubble, when you come off the show, it's like you come out of that very quickly and you find in the reality. So yeah. to come back into that again and again to be performing in front of the thousands of people that have really, really appreciated you and enjoyed you and stuff like that is it's such a lovely, lovely feeling. The crowds have been immense, mate. Right? I mean, you'll see, you know, in Nottingham, it's, it's just a really, really great show to be part of. It's like being part of a really great lineup and you got you got to love that you know so so let's talk about life on the road then how glamorous is it on a scale of one to ten i mean are there busty babes banging on your door trying to get in in the middle of the night in five star hotels what's it like it's, do you know what it's nuts i didn't i didn't quite expect uh the hype of it all if i'm honest you know we've got an incredible security team here and uh and very early they were briefing us about you know fans and you know, outside the hotels and stuff like that. And, you know, it really is quite surreal. And, you know, we're escorted out outside back doors and, you know, sort of all sorts of things. And, and it is quite, it's quite, it is quite crazy. But, you know, I kind of love tour life naturally. I miss my, my wife and, and baby girl. But, you know, it's the bigger picture now. I'm, I'm doing what I love to do in, mm. in front of thousands of people that, that enjoy me doing it. And, and I guess the pride when they get to see you is beyond words. That's it. You know, that's it. There's a lot of hard work and gone into all of this. You know, I, I did my second song the other day in Dublin and, you know, I had to man up because I, I literally, I, I felt so overwhelmed, you know, almost tears and that sounds really cheesy and, and cliche, but I've been trying to do this for, for, for uh, a minute now, you know, a few mm. years and, and to get in front of an audience of 11,000 people who were on their feet after a song that I sing, um, it was just incredible. So, you know, it's, it's great. And again, for any artist to have that size of stage with that level of lighting and sound and the crew and all of the scenery and all that stuff must be thrilling. I mean, to have that pin focus all on you, whether it be for four minutes or 40 minutes, is such a privilege. It is. It really is. Like, you know, we've got, we've got, and I'm not just saying this, but we've got the best team of people here. You know, we've got incredible dancers and incredible production staff. The creative director, but at best, absolutely smashed it out of the park. 
and everyone's doing this to make it the best show mm. on the road at the moment, you know. So, so to be a, a, a part of that, you know, especially the, the person that gets in front of the spotlight is is a real, real privilege, you know. And it's not happening nowadays, you know. There's very few artists that are coming out and performing as a, a, a arena, before a, you know, arena audience. Yeah. So, to, so to do that, especially with my background and in being, you know, and toured in front of people and spent my own money to get in front of people, you know, now I'm being paid to, to have the, you know, privilege to perform. It's, it's, you know, it's life changing. It is. Yeah. That's, that's mean, you know, that's real talk. So, um, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Well, you deserve to be there. You're a true artist. The X Factor Tour is on the road now. You can catch it all over the country. Find out more by going to gigsandtours.com or just put in the X Factor Tour 2015. Very finally, who's misbehaving on tour? Any gossip I need to know about, Jay? Not at the moment. We're really doors yet. We're really doors yet. Come on, there must be some shenanigans. <laughs> well, no, it's all good. Honestly, it's all good at the moment. We all, we all enjoy each other's company. And as soon as the gig finishes, we all sort of get back to the hotel bar and have a few beverages together. But now it's being naughty at the moment. We've got quite a strict security and tour manager who's leading the way. Yeah. Just keeping us in line, keeping us in check at the moment. So we're all good. And I guess, regardless of the showbiz side of it, you've got to put on a show. And if you can't speak and you can't sing, you can't do the show, can you? Exactly, mate. Right. Exactly. You know, good people are paying good money to come and watch us. And, you know, that's how we all sort of feel, you know what I mean? We're going to put on a show, firstly, because we love to. Secondly, you know, because we're aware of people have paid good money to come and see, hopefully, the, the, the best show that's going on at the moment. Jay, great to talk to you. Jay James is one of the big stars from X Factor 2015, one of the finalists that made it to the arena gigs. You can find out more at gigsandtours.com. Uh, Jay, really good to talk to you. Thanks for your time.